Hello and welcome back to the channel of Major Look 92, the Shaman of Gaming. And welcome back to some Dark Souls 2 action. Well, I say action, but there's not going to be too much action to be had in this video. This is more about a little bit of information. Today I am actually going to be showing you how to access the Crown of the Sunken King DLC in this game. Um, a lot of people who've just been playing the game recently probably will have just stumbled across this as I did. I happen to just be at this point in the game. Um, and I stumbled across it. Uh, so, you know, some people might have done, f but for those who haven't and maybe are more advanced in the game than this uh, and are just waiting for the DLC to be released, this is how you access it. As you can see, I am in the second, I'm at the second bonfire in uh, the Black Gulch. And what you want to do is you just want to proceed towards the, uh, the boss room of the Rotten. Obviously, if you haven't killed the Rotten, do that first. And, uh, Basically, has anybody ever wondered why the rooms that hold the primal bonfires are so big? I actually believe that this is the reason for it because, as you can see when we go around here, this never used to be here. <laughs> um, this is how you access the soon to be released DLC. As I'm playing this, it's still not been released yet, I'm just waiting. It is on the day uh, and what I'm going to be doing as soon as it releases, I'm going to be doing a completely blind and live playthrough as I plan to do on the full game. Um, but this is how you access the DLC. All you have to do is examine this and you will be uh, warped into the beginning of the DLC. You can actually do this but there's a locked door uh, which obviously won't open until you purchase the, the DLC but you can read these. The bidden is the path to the ancient king's domain. Trespassers will face adversity befitting a monarch. And there's one really interesting thing that is on uh, these little murals here. With water drying paths are missed, woeful temptation is dismissed. The city of the sunken king sleeps, as does the dragon within. And that's a little bit of interesting information. And as you can see, all you have to do is you have to just examine this and it will take you to the uh, the hub sort of area before you actually enter the DLC. And um, maybe this is um, a nod to the fact that all three DLCs are going to be accessed uh, in the rooms of the uh, that house the primal bonfires, which would make sense as one of them is the old Iron King. Um so, you know, that would probably be in the room after after you actually beat the old Iron King. Um, and the Ivory King obviously can either be the Lost Sinner or Freya. I think it's more likely to be the Lost Sinner just because there is um, an enemy in the, uh, the Primal Bonfire room uh, after you beat Freya, which is obviously Vengal's body. But this is how you access the DLC. You can light the torch here. You're at some... looks like some weird fucking sacrilegious fucking sacrifice area or something it also looks a bit like the entrance to the kiln of the first flame actually um, but yeah as you approach this door it does say closed and as I said as soon as this uh, DLC drops I will be um, doing a blind and live playthrough of it so hopefully uh, this video has helped you out if you didn't know about this already and hopefully you will join me for my playthrough of the DLC I am uh, I couldn't be more excited so hopefully you will join me and I will see you then if you are joining me pancreatic pains <laughs> 